Well, we're going to talk rain, rain showers, and thunderstorms, and the things to keep in mind when we've got thunderstorm activity. Lightning is always a danger. An occasional heavy downpour will reduce visibility. It can give you a heavy enough downpour to lead to ponding and puddling, so poor driving conditions. Tomorrow morning should be a wet start. Give yourselves a little extra drive time, and keep all those things in mind. You're the safest indoors with thunderstorm and rain shower activity, and you're safe in a covered automobile from lightning. And we are dealing now with the front. This was set up by counterclockwise circulation bringing cold air south, but the low so far away, we don't have a good southerly push, but the things we have to watch, we've been developing low out here. This hasn't become a player yet, but if it can migrate a little bit east and develop a little bit more, it'll enhance the flow out ahead of it from the south. Now in the base of the trough, and now this trough is at 10,000 feet, we've been spinning out a little low pressure area. This thing we'll have to watch during the late night and toward morning time frame because already it's caused some uh, severe thunderstorm watches to be put into play and they've got to watch in effect till midnight. But this thing will have a tendency to migrate to the northeast or a little bit to the east-northeast, put it on track to central Texas. So late tonight and tomorrow and during the day tomorrow, we should have wet weather, which is going to be a great benefit after so much droughty conditions. Right now, you can see that the steering currents are taking everything to the northeast. This has been developing. You can see how this area has actually gotten into flow pattern pushing to the southeast. So we're going to have to watch the development here. This area here will stay well to the south of us. So during the course of the night, we'll begin with rain, rain showers. We'll migrate to thunderstorms and rain showers. You can see it's cooled a bit at Comanche at 57 and some 60s San Saba. rest of us are in the 60s and 70s and we'll cool into the 50s and 60s tonight, warmer to the southeast. Winds from the south are going to be shifting. We've had some wind gusts still out around 2025. We'll start tomorrow at around 60. We won't gain much heat because of cloud cover. Do be alert to the thunderstorms. We'll get them through the day, shut them off during the night, and then we'll have a cool down with a north wind on Tuesday. Sky cover uh, goes away here, but then we're back to the southerly flow and a warming trend. Keep it safe tomorrow. We'll be back after the break.